Hi, my name is Casey Hurt and I'm here with my friend Kim and we're going to show you a little bit about how to treat some special populations today. Now, one of the keys to being an effective teacher is to have lots of tools in your belt and especially when it comes to special populations. We need to know how to modify, how to prop, but then we also need to know how to challenge them within what they have going on in their body. So the first one we're gonna deal with is osteoporosis. So one of the biggest things that we really wanna pay attention to is that we're not bringing their spine into too much you know, loaded flexion. The other thing is another place that osteoporosis hits is uh, the neck of the femur. So getting leg work is really important. So you know, you can do all of your traditional, you know, feet and strap exercises, but this is a little bit of a twist that's actually going to train their internal and external obliques, as well as the multifidus and the transverse to help to stabilize the spine. So we're going to do single leg footwork. So go out to straight legs, Kim, and let's put your right foot into the strap. Excellent. And I always like to have the strap really in this kind of heel cup of the foot so that the energy from the spring transfers through the bones of the leg. Now, what I want you to do is put weight into this guy and let's bring your left leg up into tabletop. So right here, Kim, I want you to feel like you're slurping the femur deep into the pelvis. Okay, so go ahead and inhale, press out into the strap. And then good, exhale it back. So. One foot has a strap, one foot doesn't. So there's two different messages happening from the legs into the body, but we wanna to try to make them as similar as possible. So I want you to feel like you're slurping both femurs deep and into the pelvis. Very nice. Now Kim, can you find a little bit more of this guy pulling? Yes, into the body as the leg comes up. Excellent. And again, can you find the grounding through here? So much better. Feel your abs a little bit more equally on each side. So because this leg is having to leverage all of the springs on here, and right now we have a heavy and a very light on, her body is trying to assimilate through her obliques down here. Also, the multifidus, which is in your lumbar spine, an anti-rotator, is being called into action because her tailbone is heavy to help manage this load and weight difference from the right to left side of the pelvis. Two more times. And press, keep slurping the leg down. And this whole idea of grounding through the stable leg is so important. Last one. Good. And up. Now, if you wanted to add on to this challenge just a little bit, I think you've done this one before, this is like scissors. You're gonna extend the left leg out, and I'm gonna give her actually out here, like a scissor, uh-huh. And then you're gonna kick into the strap and leverage this guy up. So again, we're doing the same thing, but one leg has a strap, one doesn't. And slurp this leg deep and in, try not to hike the hip, good. So this is for your more advanced client. Two more. I always like to have a little bit of a hand on their foot to give them the closed chain feel that the strap gives them without the help. Last one, slurping up and in. Beautiful. And now this leg can go into tabletop. The right leg can come up. You can extend this guy to the bar and off you go. How did that feel? It's some work. So balancing out the pelvis is essential for everyone, but like I said, for osteoporosis, it's much harder to go into an ab curl to work the oblique, so this is a really nice way, very safe way to do it. Also, for all of our regular populations, this is a great challenge. All right, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you again soon.